Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to a new episode of Girl Gut. Lately, I spent probably one of the best restaurant experiences I had um, at, not at this place, but at his place. It's um, Castle Schauenstein here in Switzerland. It's a three-star Guide Michelin with 19 gourmet points. Um, and Andreas Caminada, uh, who runs it, also has a couple of other restaurants called Inyiv. And this is a cookbook from one the head chefs of these Inyiv restaurants. Um, and today we're cooking kind of a version of a recipe that's in there. And it's uh, baby lettuce with a black garlic espuma, or sabayon, or however you want to call it. Um, and that's basically it. But before we have a look at all these beautiful ingredients, as always, do me the favor, click on the subscribe button and check the little bell icon to get notifications. And uh, to this, I'll put the link down in the description. But now, let's have a look at the ingredients. The star of the show, the baby lettuce. Now, the original recipe calls for Chinese cabbage, but I kind of like to make it with baby lettuce. Um, for the black garlic sabayon, we have some black garlic. It's, I think, about it's three cloves. We have half a shallot, just roughly sliced. We have some peppercorns, uh, seven of them, and a bay leaf. This black garlic here will grate on top, just as kind of a decorative measure. We also need, for the reduction, 75 milliliters of white wine and 50 mil milliliters of water. Um, that's the reduction. Then obviously you need to make a kind of sabayone, you need eggs. We have one whole egg and two egg yolks. And we're gonna make a classical kind of vinaigrette where we have some um, apple cider vinegar. We have some neutral grapeseed oil. We have some finely chopped shallots. And here we have some mustard seeds. Now what I've done with them is I blanched them, I think five times and then let them um, boil in uh, apple juice for about five minutes. That's what you get. And we're gonna need some salt and some pepper for that as well. Ah, and butter. We need the butter for the black garlic sabayon. But let's get started with the reduction, and at the same time, we'll melt butter. So that's behind me. For the reduction, don't put the dried black garlic in because you're going to need it later, but the rest we just put in, as well as the wine and the water. Now you want to reduce this to about half, so we put it on the stove and reduce it. While the reduction of butter are doing their thing on the stove, we can whip up the vinaigrette. We have our apple cider vinegar. Our neutral oil. Perfect. Put in our shallots. Put in our mustard seed, about a teaspoon. Good pinch of salt and some white pepper. I will mix that. And put it to the side and then we'll continue once the reduction is done. We have reduced it to half and we need to strain it. And that's where all the taste is. Put our eggs in a bigger bowl, whisk them up a bit, then we can already mix in this. Make sure to whisk while you're putting it in. And try not to put it all over like I did, because then you have to clean. We have our bigger bowl, should be enough. And we have our butter. Now the butter is warm, so we'll put it in little by little.
Don't have to be too careful. I would even say we can pour it. And now we need to make this taste good. Let's give it a taste first. Very nice, the black garlic is there. It needs salt. Two good pinches. Some more white pepper. A little bit more salt. Perfect. Now what we need to do is to fill it into one of these cream whippers, you know, where you put the pressure in there. We'll do that carefully, hope that we don't spill too much. I would say that went so-so. We cleaned up after our mistake. We put the uh, head on properly. And now what we'll do the rest, we'll put this, I don't, I don't have a water bath on or, or a steamer, but I'll put it in the oven at around 50 degrees and it will keep nicely warm there until we use it. Our two heads. So if you remember, we have our vinaigrette and we have our black garlic sabayon or fermented garlic sabayon. Um, now these are gonna get grilled, but before we grill them, we'll blanch them quickly in water. I just want to cut them into quarts. I will put them into boiling water, probably 15 seconds or so, and then into ice cold water. And then we'll go out and grill them. But since it's quite boring, I'm not going to show you the blanching and I'm not going to show you the grilling because it's not difficult. Quickly in water, hot boiling water, out into ice cold water, dry them off and then grill them. So when we're back, we'll basically be more or less completely ready for the plating. Um, and always, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you liked about this episode. So do me the favor, click the thumbs up button below. It really helps the YouTube algorithm to find my content. So thank you for that. And see you after the grilling. Our baby lettuce has been blanched and then grilled. Now we're just gonna kind of clean them up. Um, I left the outer leaves off. I don't know if you noticed when I cut them up. Normally I would take them off, but it's nice to have them as protection when you grill. And I'll just show you one. So we'll take the tough part on here. And then we take off the outer leaves and we're left with a really nice kind of tender part in the middle. Same here. And here we have some really nice charred parts. Take a bit of that off and just cut it up really finely. that. And we put this into our vinaigrette, just to give it a little bit of a charred flavor. But I'll clean up the rest of the baby lettuce and then we'll plate. We have our baby lettuce, we have some microgreen, in this case radishes, we have our dried fermented garlic and we have our vinaigrette and we have our fermented garlic or black garlic sabayon. Now I used two, I think you call it capsules, to kind of pressurize this. And I don't have 
the front on because that just makes stars or it's for when you, when you want to be decorative with whipped cream. Our vinaigrette, just spread it out nicely. So you get some of the shallots and the mustard seeds. Now we're great this black garlic. And we have our microgreens. Just place them like that. And that's our dish. Let's dig in. Has a nice crunch, a nice kind of gritty flavor. You have the umami of the black garlic, the sharpness of the vinaigrette. I would say it's a starter that would make any guest happy. Or you can just serve it as a kind of dish by itself if you make a kind of a family style table with a lot of different dishes. It's really, really nice. And it just goes to show, even if, it's, even if it might look difficult in a cookbook like that, um, it's an amazing cookbook, I didn't make it exactly like in the cookbook. Uh, yes, the, the sabayona could probably have been a bit firmer, uh, but in the end, you know, it's, it's about getting inspiration and that's what it gave me. I changed a couple of things from the original recipe in the book. I'm not using Chinese cabbage. I used a different vinegar, different oil, so on and so forth. But in the end, it's, it's a really pleasant dish. And it just goes to show, don't be, af don't be afraid to try things. But that's it. As always at the end, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do me the favor, click the subscribe button and check the bell icon. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.